Do I have your attention at the moment? If so, that is great because I will be telling you some situations that grind my gears when I don't have people's attention. So I was wondering, does this situation ever happen to you? When you and your friends or family are talking about a really interesting subject and you want some input into the conversation, so when it's yours turn to speak, you enthusiastically start chattering away and then you realise the person who stopped speaking to allow you to talk has started speaking again and everyone's attention is fixed on them and not you. And then you slowly just whimper out of the sentence that you're trying to articulate and present to everyone and pretend it just didn't ever occur. Well, I feel like this has happened to me way too many times to count for. And frankly, you just want to say to the person who just started talking again when you were speaking, you just want to say this to them. Alright buddy, you and me, let's go. Although this situation may make you feel unacknowledged and unappreciated, what is worse is when you are with one other person and you are asking them a question or a statement and their reply is this. What was that, sorry? I zoned out. Seriously, am I more boring than the wall that you're just looking at? You guys need to be left alone so you can become more acquainted. Another situation that really grinds my gears also is when you have to tell somebody something really important and then when you say it to them, their response is this. Mom, I killed somebody today. What was that, dear? Never mind. The reason why I think all these situations annoy me so much is because I try to put my full attention on the person who is speaking and I just expect the same courtesy to be done in return. Why do I even bother with human interaction? I thought in primary school and also some of high school that being the popular person was so cool especially having the ability to be centre of attention and have your peers hold on to every single word that protrudes out of your mouth. I think belts were really cool. Oh my god, I love belts. Oh my god guys, I wear belts all the time. I liked belts before they were even invented. <laughs> what I was going to say guys is I think belts were really cool if you're a loser. my interpretation of being popular. I unfortunately in primary school and sometimes in high school was one of those monkey see monkey do kind of kids. I wanted to be noticed so desperately that I was considering doing some of these actions to get noticed. One of the things I wanted to do in primary school was break my arm so all the kids would run up to me and want to sign my cast and I'd just be so popular for the day. This would happen in primary school. I never did this in high school. This was just primary school. But in conversations, sometimes I would change up words to sound like another accent. Mostly Canadian. How about you? What? How about you? It's about, not about. I was saying about the whole time. Now this would have been the lowest point in my whole entire schooling if I actually went through with it. But I was planning to succumb to the standards of plagiarism. Yes, I was going to say that I wrote the song Welcome to the 60s from Hairspray and tell all my friends that they stole that song from me and I wrote that song and how dare they. The things we do to get attention. But ultimately, the reason why I thought these things were necessary to do was because I myself felt like I was invisible and that nobody cared about me whatsoever. What am I doing here? But the one thing that has kept me going is me being invested in myself and caring about what actions and choices I do with my life and truly starting to believe in what I'm capable of. And when you do start valuing yourself and giving yourself the credit that you deserve, people will start noticing that and they'll be like, hey, she seems like a hella cool chick. I might go up to her today and speak to her and become friends with her because she's so cool, right? But basically guys, the moral of this video is if you want attention, you have to give yourself the attention first and give yourself the value that you deserve. We are more valuable and uh, capable of doing things than we realize that we are. So stop believing it, okay? If you guys like this video, please thumb it all up and please let me know in the comments below what other topics you'd like me to discuss in a 
later video that I will be filming. You can check out my past videos here. I will be doing a time lapse for next week's video, so make sure to be subscribed for that. And you can subscribe here if you'd like to. Anyway, guys, you stay wonderful, and I will see you next week. Bye! Can't find. I'm fine.